So now you get to to really see, you know, what kind of what kind of person is Sally? What kind of person is Jerry, right? Welcome to the Big Dane Podcast. I'm your host, Dana Trimborn, and this podcast is a random hodgepodge of topics that gets released on every Tuesday on, you know, your preferred platform, of course. And I really enjoy sharing my personal stories and making those connections with you guys and just really being relatable um, all in a fun and silly environment. Okay, friends, do you ever find yourself questioning other people when you're at the grocery store? And no, I don't mean out loud, but being like, what are you buying? Like in your head, you know, or saying, no, you just took the last of the scallions. I mean, what are you going to do? Well, if you're slightly smiling, you'll want to listen to this episode. All right, so the grocery store, such a funny time, isn't it? Especially when it's busy. It's like everyone decided to stop what they're doing, head over to Giant, and this is how I imagine it. People are leaving their house, and maybe it's, you know, your husband that's leaving, it's your wife, it's your roommate. It's your boyfriend or girlfriend, or it's yourself, it's just you. And you're saying, bye, see ya, see you in a little bit, you know. And they're saying bye to their family, their cat, their dog, and they're hopping in the car. Then you're on your way there, in your car, and you're waiting at the traffic light. Maybe you see Sally next to you in her Nissan Maxima. I bet that she's going to the store too, am I right? And you look in your rear view mirror behind you could be your neighbor Jerry that's rocking out to that country music because now because the war the warm the weather is warm or warmer you know you want to have your windows down so you can hear that country music just kind of floating out of the window in his Toyota Highlander you know typical Jer typical Jer so now you're on your way and you're in the parking lot and first off it's just like there's so many cars like where do I even park like where where should I be looking right but I don't know about you but I try to park near the cart return so I don't have to truck across the parking lot to the return cart I know sounds like a little bit of lazy which I can okay yeah maybe but I call it strategic, saving myself some time now after I get my groceries, right? Um, but I know I've definitely done this before where, isn't it the worst when you do park near the cart return and then you realize as you're parking your car and seeing it that it's actually on the other side? So you know how sometimes they have those little like island like here's a little sidewalk to the grocery, like in the middle of, you know. And so now, of course, like you have to cart, like prop up your cart to get over this like sidewalk thing. The sidewalk island is what I'm calling it. To get to the other side or you're like, then you get to like, uh, it's just like a mess. Or, Or what if it's even rainy? You know how just like, starts raining you know especially in spring you don't know what's gonna happen the clouds just come in and so now you're really annoyed because now you got it all wrong in the beginning because the cart return is now on the other side not realizing there's not enough room for you to go between the cars because you're totally gonna like scratch sally's car (laughs) um but um yeah it's just like such a such an issue but if anyone knows what i mean (laughs) 
All right, so how about when you finally get into the store? Does anyone make their list in the order of the aisles that they're going down? Anyone? I need some kind of order and like structure to my list. <laughs> Again, strategic here, strategic. Um, Cause Matt and I, we, we share our, our grocery list on the Note app, on the Apple, Apple iPhone, you know, you know what that is. So we share that. And so if, if he's going to the store, it's like, oh shoot, like get me some hummus or whatever, or, you know, wait, get this chocolate, you know, get some seltzer, We're always drinking seltzer. It's crazy. And so it's nice. Cause then it'll just pop up. Well, this is great. No problem. But when we like order it or when we order it, when we put the list together and if I'm going, like sometimes I'll have to like readjust to make sure like all, right, all the fruits and vegetables are here then the snacks and just as long as they're grouped. Right. Like that's cool. So but that's how I do it. So like I always tend to go. So when I'm going to the giant in Plymouth meeting at the Metroplex. Right. So I always go in on the left where the produce is, and then that's how I kind of like go down like my list. Do the produce first, get all that, and then see what's left. So so yeah, so say I want that XOXO Belgium dark chocolate. Has anyone had this? It's like pretty amazing. It's in the organic aisle slash nature's promise aisle is or section is what i'm calling it and yeah and i i kind of forgot about it because sometimes we'll just get like i don't know dove chocolate in like the regular candy aisle or something like that or like ghirardelli and i saw this i was like oh my gosh i do recognize this and i remembered i had gotten it before oh boy like you are missing out if you haven't had it it's very very good um so yeah so then i know like okay just did the produce boom what's next like what what next aisle is is the closest to this next like item that i need to get so pretty cool i don't know if anyone else does it like that but i think it's very helpful so then i'm not like going like back and forth and like oh shit i forgot this and i gotta go back oh wait that thing is in this aisle and I gotta go back again. And then people are just like, what the fuck? (laughs) Um, I will say, you know, speaking about forgetting, yeah, there'd be times where, you know, I'm like, oh shit, like I just, I was just in this aisle and then I like popped over to other aisles to get like pasta or something like that. And then this other item is like, oh shit gotta go back to get my oatmeal and i was like just in that aisle with all the cereals so then it's like back and forth but you know and and then we in the process of doing that back and forth because you were just there in that aisle and like sally is like still there so like you saw sally then you went and grabbed your pasta and you come back sally is still standing there like what are you doing sally like just pick a cereal like it's not that hard i think you know checks is pretty good um you know honey bunches of oats right all good stuff um <clears throat> I also remember there was a time, I think I was getting for Matt, um, I was getting cold cuts and the line was like so long and I thought I'm not even going to get a ticket because I'm just going to be standing here for like 15 minutes to do what? Stand? (laughs) So I thought the hell, like I'm just going to do this on the touch screen, place my order and then continue on with the rest of my shopping and then when they call um you know the number over the loudspeaker i'll just like go get it so so whatever right and i feel like people were like kind of like looking at me like what is she doing like i guess because no one was using the touch screen and i thought like is this not working you know how that happens where people don't know and then no one tells anyone if it is or isn't working i was like jesus christ so so yeah all crazy stuff so then it's like well whatever like i don't really care if people are looking at me or not and yeah 
And they're probably secretly thinking like, wow, like this millennial, like she's doing her touchscreen shit, getting her cold cuts and cheeses and she's so cool. And in reality, I'm like, yeah, I am so cool because I'm still shopping around and getting my stuff done while you're just waiting here. Ha! I showed them. Um, but yeah, secretly, they wish they knew. I'd be gladly to help. Yeah. Gladly to help out. Um, how about I feel like I find myself doing this because I am short um yes barely barely five feet five feet with my shoes on well I'll give you that hint right so I sometimes if I can't reach something it's higher up my arms are only so long so I'm like well cool I guess I'm gonna have to ask someone because I can't get this or like like sometimes like yeah if I could Maybe just step on the first shelf to like reach and grab. And then that's even like a process because I'm like, please, dear God, like I hope the entire shelf of Giant isn't going to fall down. And then you hear like, clean up on aisle 17. (laughs) Like, yeah, that's me. That is me. (laughs) But no, recently I actually, um, this was still when I was doing my elimination diet and I wasn't able to have any gluten at the time and then like other like add ingredients and one ingredient was molasses because it had to do with the FODMAPs and things you can and cannot have. And so um, I'm not sure if people know this or not, but a lot of the Czech cereals are gluten free. So I was like, oh, great. I'm going to go get some Czech cereal. And so I actually was looking at this online because I didn't want to get to giant and kind of like waste my time, like looking at each um, box because, you know, they have like the rice, the corn checks. Obviously, I can't have wheat checks because I have gluten. But, you know, some of the more uh, the ones with flavor, like vanilla or cinnamon or peanut butter, whatever, as well, sounds great, but then some of them did have the molasses in it, so I was like, well, can't have that, and like, sure, like, I bet it's like such a small amount, but at the same time, like, when you're doing an elimination diet like this, like, why, why would you risk that? So, so yeah, so then I realized that the peanut butter ones did not have the molasses in it, so I'm like, awesome so i'm looking and i'm also hoping that you know giant has this because you know like sometimes they don't have like every kind of cereal you know so i was like oh shit (laughs) this was like completely out of my reach like i could not even like let me step on the shelf grab it this is like i need a claw you know like some kind of like inspector gadget move where it's like you know and just like (laughs) like grabbing the cereal and I was like, you know, I'm not not going to even try. I'm not going to even try. So, I look left and then I look right, to see who's around me. <laughs> and um there's this woman, so she's fairly tall. I mean, I bet she maybe was a uh, I don't know, 5'8". I mean, anyone that's taller than me that I think is tall, so there you have it. But like she walked over to there and just like you know, just grabbed it like it was no big deal, like wasn't like struggling, you know, she could reach it. I was like, oh boy, must be nice, must be nice. So yeah, has anyone else like, I don't know, had a problem and like couldn't reach something or then you did reach it and then like everything else just fell everywhere? Yeah, well, happens, it happens. What other kind of things, like, have you encountered even in the grocery store? Or, like, wait, you know what just actually came to mind? Um, What's the, like, automatic, like, robot thing, like, that's been going around? And I feel like I actually haven't seen him. And I'm saying him because I'm pretty sure... The robot helper thing was, like, called Marty. Am I making that up? But 
and just like kind of cart around and sometimes I feel like I'm like oh my gosh like which way are you going are you going left or are you going right and then we both go the same way and then like oh no oh no Marty <laughs> you know and especially if, if you have a cart and like trying to cart around you want to hit Marty like you probably would you know say goodbye or something to like yo what are you doing what are you doing or he just might say like clean up on aisle 11 yeah because this woman's crazy (laughs) um so many things i feel like i'd have to give props to anyone like with young kids at the grocery store because i can't imagine like you know if they're not like little enough to sit in like right in the car that you had to like oh like Janie and and little Todd where are you where are you you look behind them they're not there like I don't know and then you see these kids roaming around the grocery store like whoa here they were they were at a uh, Starbucks uh getting a frappuccino maybe a juice a kid's juice they know where it's at oh yeah they know they know but yeah it's such it's such an interesting time at the grocery store and I feel like even now too because of you know wearing a mask and like just not being able to show your full full face and show your expressions with things so like oh like you want to say oh no problem or like if you're like oh are you going in that aisle you know you kind of meet in that middle and it's like uh, uh, are you going left are you going right and like you can't what what's happening and you know what are you gonna like raise your eyebrows to like say hi like hello ma'am (laughs) ma'am um all right so then By the time you kind of finish everything up, you look at your list. I also feel like I've looked at my list and I'm like, ah, man, I got to go back to get this one item. Or now I'm like back getting my cold cuts, right? Because now they're like, hey, yo, number 137, your pickup is ready. So I'm like, oh, my God, I'm 137. Got to go cart back. So you're carting back. Finally get all your meats and cheeses got your your hoagie rolls maybe right and so now you got everything wow you did it congratulations so now you're finally like getting down and you know making your way to the checkout kind of like dodging people and marty and And then maybe you see like Sally, Sally and Jerry that you saw like on your way to the store and now they're checking out too. How funny is that? Too much, too much. But I feel like sometimes I have to dodge people, excuse me, when I'm like getting to the checkout because especially now with the lines that you have to, you know, so many space so much space for like um in between everyone and then people are just popping out of nowhere or then you think you're in line and then really like there's five other people that are in line that are now like waiting like in the aisle because shit's crazy yeah yeah so now you kind of get up there and you know you're getting ready to put your stuff on, but the person in front of you, you know, they're still, like, unloading. So now you get to to really see, you know, what kind of, what kind of person is Sally? What kind of person is Jerry, right? Yeah. They unload, like, all this crap, microwavable shit. You don't see any fruits. You don't see any vegetables. <laughs> And you think, like, what are you doing? Okay, I get it. If you don't like to cook, no problem. No problem. At least maybe try to fuel your body with, like, a little bit, like, better foods or... I don't know. Like, come on. This is our problem when having, like a grocery store called giant like you're bound to just put shit in your cart 
man, I think Aldi is where it's at because you're in and out of Aldi. And I feel like anytime I'm in there, I'm getting some pretty good stuff. But, but really, I mean, maybe you could look into a meal subscription, but then people say, well, that costs money. Well, if you're spending money on shit, then <laughs> you're going to feel like shit. <laughs> like, uh, it's a wake up call. Or you could even do the chef share meals. That's Aaron Conchi. Shout out. <laughs> um, and that, especially, you know, it's not like, you know, you take home like a meal kit and then you get to like actually make it. This is like you choose what you want and then you just heat it up. So it's already ready. So I'm just saying, and I actually will be trying it soon. So I'll let you know if it's any good. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, like, I feel like for me, like, I just think I'm like, wow, like, that's so much soda or that's so much shit. <laughs> I know. I know it sounds like horrible, but you think it, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like some, you know, junk food, but... To eat junk food for dinner? Uh, I don't think so. Kind of like a three meals gal, you know? Some snacks. Doing that elimination diet, can't tell you how much I realized I liked snacks. It's a little, like, what can I even eat? <laughs> but truly, I mean, does anyone else kind of, like, watch and, like, think about what the person in front of them is checking out with and unloading and like, oh, like you do have some organic stuff, but then you also have some non-organic, but then you have Doritos, which just made me think to look out for the 3D Doritos. Yo, they're coming back. Saw that commercial over uh, Super Bowl. Um, I was real jazzed about it. Real jazzed. So, but yeah, it's just kind of funny. I don't know. Does anyone else think like that? Or or are you saying, no, Big Dane? No. <laughs> um, I feel like I do like watching the kids, like, when they're checking out, like, with their parents. And I feel like they're always saying, like, cute shit. And I'm like, oh, my God, you're so precious. You're just so cute. You know, they're like, how old is he? How old? You know, and just just gets gets to you're shedding a tear now and you're in line at Giant. Yeah, good stuff. But being in line like that, I also think, thank God I'm still wearing a mask because you do not want to see my full facial expression. <laughs> Oh, because in reality, I'm like, oh, oh, I mean, even my stomach is saying, oh, man, glad I'm not your stomach. <laughs> I mean, that is saying a lot for someone like myself because I have IBS. Like, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, man. So love to hear some of your stories, some of your grocery store stories sometimes maybe you run into your neighbor there like jerry oh my gosh jerry um but yeah give me give me a little holler send me a note you can go to the big dame podcast.com slash contact and send the big dane a note because i want to hear all about it and guys just stay on the site stay on the website go over to the podcast section so you can see this latest and greatest episode and you can find your preferred platform to listen on. And please keep in mind, YouTube, it's newly available for my podcast. And I have select episodes on there where you can see uh, a full video recorded episode. And you can see all my, see all of my funny faces. Yeah. Hope I don't scare you, but yeah, so I'll be doing that, you know, once or twice a month. Um, of course, the full the full podcast is on there, too. So if you 
have been on YouTube all day and you just want to toggle over to the Big Dang Podcast, you'll see it's there. All the episodes are there. So no problem at all. And please be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Wow. 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 Um, and guys, the coffee icon, if I lost anyone, the coffee icon on the site is for some extra content for you. So that is not going to be on my Instagram and Facebook. Because that's just silly. Why would you do that? My goodness. Well, hope you really enjoyed it. want to hear from you. Be sure to listen, subscribe, tell all your friends and neighbors, um, and hope you have a great rest of the week. Peace out.